What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 41st jailbreak update video and a lot of people are pretty confused right now. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about a new jailbreak team and whether or not they're really gonna be releasing an iOS 10.3.x jailbreak for the iPhone 7. That's the main topic of this video, but we're also gonna be talking about Timstar and Luca Tedesco a little bit. And of course, I just wanna say before this video starts, if you have not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification there to get notifications of when I upload new videos. That way you don't miss out on any of this important jailbreak news. So let's talk about this new jailbreak team that's supposedly from Shanghai, China called the Zig team. I'm not exactly sure if that's how you pronounce it, but you can see here they are from Shanghai, China, and they did just join Twitter in September of 2017. And they do have a decent amount of followers right now, but Take a look at this tweet that they tweeted out saying, the latest work is a persistent jailbreak of the iPhone 7 iOS 10.3.x with AMCC bypass. And then along with that caption are some images of what appears to be a tool they created to load the jailbreak onto the device. So yeah, this new team that just literally just came onto the scene is claiming to be releasing an iOS 10.3.x jailbreak for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, specifically by the way, only the 7 and 7 Plus, but is it actually legit? Are they actually legit? Is this tool that they showed screenshots of actually legit? And are they even gonna release anything Thing at all. That's what you guys want to know. So that's why I'm here to answer for you. So first of all, are they actually legit? And are they actually going to be releasing this jailbreak tool? And the answer to that is probably not, but I would not completely rule them out just yet. Now you guys know, I do not talk about fake jailbreak teams at all on this channel, because I've always said my policy all along on this channel with these jailbreak update videos is that if I do not talk about a jailbreak team, you could just assume that they are fake. And there's a reason I didn't cover them because I didn't want to give them publicity. Now this team and me talking about this in general right here is a slight exception. And the only reason I'm talking about them is because I've had so many people messaging me more than any other team before about whether or not they're legit or not. So I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I just wanted to make a video to clear everything up and what I think about this team. So first of all, they just joined Twitter last week, which makes them very likely to be just a fresh troll account. Now you can see here in their bio, they are supposedly from Shanghai, China. And that's, you know, the area where most of the jailbreak teams originate. But anybody can put that location on Twitter. Anybody can say they're from Shanghai, China and not actually be from there. Now, here's the one thing that adds any legitimacy at all to this jailbreak team. And that is the people that are actually following them on Twitter. So you can see here, they're followed on Twitter by a few trustworthy members of the jailbreak community. Lang Chen, who actually presented the Keen Lab 10.3.x and iOS 11 jailbreak at Mosec this year, along with Chronic, who however did later confirm that he's not sure if they're legit or not in a tweet where he had offered to verify basically their legitimacy if they can provide technical analysis of the jailbreak. But of course they did not do that. But then Luca Tedesco actually chimed in and actually talked to Lang Chen and said, that Chen didn't even know that he was following them and that they are 100% fake. And then it gets even more sketchy. So yesterday they tweeted this out, release 9-31-2017, implying that they're gonna be releasing the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus 10.3.x jailbreak on September 31st. But guess what? There is no September 31st. September always only has 30 days in it. So did they just expose themselves? That's very possible. Did they make a typo? That's also, I guess, somewhat possible but there's a good chance that they exposed themselves from this tweet. So once again, I'm not gonna say that this team is 100% fake because there's nothing to prove that they are 100% fake. However, there is nothing out there at all that proves that they are legit. So until something gets verified, until they release something or somebody that's trustworthy in the community verifies anything that they've done in the past or that they're working on now, there's no reason to believe that they are real and that they're actually gonna be releasing anything. So as always, we just have to stay patient and have no expectations going in. If a jailbreak happens, it happens, but don't expect it. You know, don't don't get too excited for it and everything like that. You're just going to be let down. I mean, just be happy with what you have on your phone now. We have the plus plus applications. We have, you know, the no revoke thing going on right now. We have the new iPhones coming out. So just let it happen. If it's going to happen, that's going to be the best way. So you don't let yourself down and be disappointed. Now let's talk about Tim Starr, who's been working really hard, been crushing it lately in the jailbreak community. So he tweeted this out yesterday. I ported the try to exploits to 8.4.1. However, as expected, Home Depot's kernel patches and patch finder needs quite a few changes. He then followed up to Today with a screenshot of the jailbreak and Cydia running on iOS 8.4.1 with the caption, there's something in the works. Now this is awesome news for all you 32-bit users out there who are able to downgrade to 8.4.1. As you can see by the retweets and the likes on Twitter, and then you can look at Reddit and how crazy people are going on Reddit as well, a lot of people are still here. You know, a lot of people are still on 32-bit devices. A lot of people are still able to downgrade to 8.4.1 and get that jailbreak. So I don't want to see all the negativity in the comments saying, you know, oh, they sh he should be working on iOS 10.3. Point X or something like that. No, a lot of people are still back there and people just need to realize, you guys just need to realize that there's not, not everybody's still on the latest versions. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see what Timstar does as far as releasing this, how he releases 
it and when. Of course, I will include that in a future jailbreak update video when it does happen. And lastly, I wanted to talk about Luca Tedesco a little bit more, who actually just recently posted on Twitter showing an experiment he's running on iOS 11. So you can see here, he posted this image earlier in the week showing a button similar to his previous jailbreak tools that says, go for it. And that obviously triggers something on the back end that we aren't quite sure of just yet. Now, I definitely don't think this is a jailbreak for iOS 11 like some people on Twitter thought, but you know, it's something, it's just really cool to see Luca Tedesco still working in iOS exploitation. Now, of course, I wouldn't expect him to release anything to the public, so you shouldn't be getting your hopes up or anything like that. But again, it's just really cool to see Luca still working in iOS. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I've got to start packing my bags and get ready for my flight to New York City tomorrow. So if any of you guys want to meet up with me and you're in or around New York City, send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram is down in the description below. Make sure you do that. I'd love to meet up with some of you guys. But yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future jailbreak update videos. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.